Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this really sweet little bumblebee keychain. So it's a tiny miniature size. Um, it's really quite easy to do and I've also done one in rainbow colours sticking with the rainbow theme that's going on at the moment. Um, which is also super cute. This one's slightly bigger. Um, it's got an extra rounding to accommodate the seven colours, but I'll talk to you about that as we go. If you've subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. Um, if you've not subscribed, you can do so by hitting the subscription button below. If you click on the notification bell next to it and click all, that just means you'll be notified every time I upload a tutorial. And of course, it is totally free to subscribe. So, um, for the tutorial, you'll need your selected yarn. I'm just using a standard acrylic DK in the black, white and yellow. The hook size I'm using is a three millimeter. You can use a bigger or smaller hook size. Um, of course, your projects will then become bigger or smaller. Scissors, darning needle, a stitch marker if you need one. Um, your keychain, if it's going to be a keychain, you will need your stuffing and safety eyes if you are going to use safety eyes. I did on these, but you can um, quite as easily embroider them on as well. Okay, I'll just pop these to one side. I'll show you the measurements of the um, B so you know. So it's approximate, just short of two inches long. It's actually about probably about four and a half centimeters long and about three centimeters or one inch wide ish. Uh, so that's the measurements for it. So we're going to start with the uh, yellow yarn. In the description box, there's lots of information, including a written pattern in UK terms and a written pattern in US terms for both the yellow and the rainbow colour bumblebee. Um, I also pop links in there of places I recommend to buy yarn and the keychains as well, things like that. So there's plenty of information down there if, you, if you'd like to have a look. So we're going to start by making a magic loop. So to do that, hold your yarn here, cross over at the back, from the front, then just pop your hook under the first piece of yarn and pull this second piece through. Then what we want to do is grab here and just pull that through to secure it, like so. so if you do really, really struggle with a magic loop and you wanted to uh, chain four, and slip stitch to the first stitch and work in the center of that that's totally okay as well okay so we're going to start by making six double crochets into the loop and that's double crochet in the uk it's a single crochet in the us so we're going to insert our hook grab the yarn and pull up a loop so we've got two loops and yarn over and it is just the double crochet UK or single crochet US that we use throughout this pattern. So there's only that one stitch you need to know. So we've done one, we just need to do uh, six in total. So two, three, four, five and six. And if it's all twisted, just straighten it out and pull on the tail to close the loop. So round two, we're going to increase into each stitch all around. So that means um, our increase, we're going to put two uh, double crochets into each stitch all around, and that will be for a total of 12. So if you do mark your work, I always recommend marking it at the back. You can do either the first stitch or, or the back of the last, but I tend to do the back. So that's, that's where you'd mark your work. So we're going to increase 
And just so you know, you're working straight into the very next, the very first stitch available. So it's that, it's actually that one there, which if you can see, it has curled over quite a bit. So the first one can be sometimes tricky to work into. I always think the more fiddly it is, the smaller the hook size as well. Right. So that's one and two. And then two into the next one. One. Two. Two into the next one. One and two and we do that all the way around to the end if you have marked your work this will be your very last um increase your last two stitches will go in there and a total of 12 in total so if you'd like to complete that and i'll meet you back at the end of here okay so that's round um two done just to, a note to you i've just off camera i've just um, tied in that end obviously I've left the end on because I can tuck that inside at the end but it's just to stop that gap keep opening as it was doing before so if you want to do that it just secures that and now's a good time to do it actually before we get any bigger with our work um, so I've just uh, done that and I've remarked my work so for round three we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch then an increase into the next, so that means two into the next. One double crochet, increase, one increase, one increase, all around. So I'll do the first bit with you. So one double crochet straight into the next stitch, and then one and two into the next, one into the next, and then an increase so that means one and two into the next we're going to do that all the way around until you get to the end if you've marked your work this stitch will be your very last increase so there'll be two going into there and it'll be a total of 18 stitches so if you'd like to complete that and i'll meet you back at this point so after the end of that round we are going to do a round of just one double crochet into each stitch around so that's a total of 18 so if you'd like to just go ahead and do one double crochet single into the US in the US rather into each stitch all around and I'll meet you back here so next we're going to change color to our black yarn um, if you're doing the rainbow colored B then at this point change to this first colour here okay if you're doing the rainbow coloured B all you're going to do now is basically change colour and do one double crochet into each stitch all around and do that once for each colour that you have so you get to the end and then if you skip to the part of the video where we are just finishing this round of black here we'll meet you there so you just need to fast forward to there so I will just attach the black yarn and then we're going to do oops sorry we're going to do one double crochet into each stitch all around so that's a total of 18 so if you'd like to go ahead and do that and I will meet you back at this point we'll attach our yellow now okay so for the next two rounds so that's round six and seven with the yellow yarn we're just going to do one double crochet into each stitch around for a total of 18 so we're going to do that twice for round six and for round seven so one two 
two, three, four, all the way round. So if you'd like to complete those next two rounds and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I've just completed round um, seven. We're just now going to change back to our black yarn. And we are going to complete another round. Getting all tangled up. We are just going to complete another round of our black. So one double crochet into each stitch all around for a total of 18 stitches. So if you'd like to complete that and I'll meet you back here. Right, so I've just completed round eight, so the last round of our black, and I've now attached our yellow yarn again. So if you'd like to go ahead and do that. If you're just joining us because you've been doing the rainbow bee, then for you guys, this next round of yellow, you'll just do one more round of yellow. For the ones that are doing this bumblebee, we're basically going to do two rounds of yellow. So 18 stitches in total. So what we're going to do now, as I said, is two rounds. Two more rounds of one double crochet into each stitch all around for a total of 18 stitches per round. So if you'd like to go ahead and do that, and I shall meet you back here. So I've just completed that round and this is how you work. Oh, should be looking at the moment. If you are using safety eyes, it would be at this stage now that I would pop these eyes on. So where your work kind of goes off where we're working in the spiral, put that on the underbelly and pop your eyes into position. I recommend popping them both in first, seeing if you like where they are before securing the backs on. If you're embroidering them, you could embroider them either at this stage now or um, at the end once it's completed. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you prefer. Uh, these eyes, by the way, are six millimeter. So that's the size I use. Um, and just a point as well, I don't know if anyone else used to do this, but I used to, you could, that will squeeze another notch down. Um, <clears throat> but what I find when doing that is it pulls on, especially on smaller projects, it really pulls the yarn in and dimples it in. So I also recommend just going one notch less if, uh, if you get me. Right, so we're on to the final few rounds now. So for this next round, we're going to start our decreasing and we're going to do that by using what's called an invisible decrease. All the invisible decrease does is it avoids us having like quite noticeable holes in our work. Um, so for the next round, we're going to do, also if you are marking your work, now's the time to do it, if you've not done it already. So I'm just gonna mark at the back. So we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch. And then now we're going to do our invisible decrease. So to do that, it, we, we just should go through the front loop only. That's the difference with a decrease and an invisible one. We're just going through the front loop. Okay, so we're going to insert our hook into the front loop, grab the yarn and pull it through. So you've got two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next front loop of the next stitch grab the yarn and pull it through so you've got three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three 
and we're just going to repeat that all around so we're going to do an one double crochet one invisible decrease one double crochet one invisible decrease and it will be for a total of 12 stitches so i'll do it again with you so one double crochet into the next stitch and then an invisible decrease so pop into the front loop grab the yarn and pull up a loop so you've got two insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over and pull it through so you've got three yarn over and pull through all three so we'll just repeat that all the way around and it's a total of 12 stitches your very last stitch if you're marking your work that one and the one before will be a very final decrease okay so if you'd like to complete that and I shall meet you back here so I've just finished that round and I have just stuffed my bear ready so at this point if you'd like to stuff your bear um, I used about that much stuffing people always ask me and I don't know how to measure it really but that, that's about how much I used um, for the project so for the final round we're going to decrease from 12 stitches to 6 and we're just going to do that by doing a decrease all around decrease two stitches all around so basically if you mark your work do you know I'm always fingers and thumbs aren't I right okay so an invisible decrease so insert your hook into the front loop grab the yarn and pull up a loop insert your hook into the next front loop grab the yarn and pull up a loop so we've got one decrease and we're just going to continue doing our decreases our invisible decreases all around and the very last one will be including our marked stitch so if you'd like to complete that and I shall meet you back okay so that round's finished and this is what your work will be looking like so I'm just going to slip stitch to the entire stitch it doesn't need to be the front loop slip stitch to the very next stitch and then tie off leaving a long enough tail to tie in this last bit so to do that I'm sure most of you know but just in case you don't you just get your embroidery needle and I just go through the front loop of each stitch all around like this just loosely initially as if it's like a drawstring bag and then once I've done them all I'll just pull on tight and that'll close it up like so so that's completed Little Miss Knotty here always likes to put knots in it all, so I'm just going to do that now. And then fasten in your tail. I'd go back in another time um, if I were you, but I've just lost the thread there, so I'm just going to snip it off at this point. Snip it off. So there you go, that's the bee's body done. All we've got left now is to do the wings. Or if you've not used safety eyes now's the time to embroider um, the face so just attach your black yarn or whatever colour you're using and hand embroider by stitching round the stitches on there so if you'd like to complete that and I'll meet you back so we can finish the wings okay I'm just using my notepad as a backdrop because the uh, what do you call it the white yarn you'll not be able to see on the white table otherwise so for the wings we just want to make a slip knot and then we want to chain two so one and two so what we're going to do the second chain from the hook next we're going to do a half treble crochet half treble in the UK it's a half double in the US so to do that yarn over insert your hook 
grab the yarn and pull up a loop so you've got three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three next we're going to do a treble crochet treble in the uk in the us it's a double so for that we yarn over insert our hook grab the yarn pull up a loop so we've got three loops yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two next we're going to do a double treble that's in the uk it's a treble in the us so we're going to yarn over twice insert our hook grab the yarn and pull up a loop you'll have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two you'll have three yarn over and pull through two again you'll have two remaining yarn over and pull through two and then we're just going to work back mirroring what we've just done so basically another treble or double in the US another half treble or half double in the US Ooh, nearly did a treble there and then a double crochet single in the US okay and now we're going to do a slip stitch and we're just going to repeat that again for the other side so I'm now holding my work at this angle so I'm going to do a double crochet a half treble crochet a treble crochet and a double treble and then mirror that back down so I'll do a treble a half treble and a double and I'll finish with a slip stitch pull that tight yarn over and pull through so when you tie off just make sure you leave a long enough tail to tie this to the bee's body so your work should look like that I do just go over wrap it round and tie a knot to pull you know to kind of pinch the wings together if you will So just basically wrapping around both sides and tying across the center to pinch the wings like that so I've just pinched them in the center and I'll just tie another knot just shape them right so there are your bees wings we just need to attach them to the body so make sure your ziggy zaggy bits underneath and look where you want these to go I've just put mine approximately in the middle and just tie tie them on stitch them on so I'm going to go with that center loop fasten that on nice and secure and that's it that's your B done. Um, if you are going to attach your keychain, then just with your darning needle, pull up one of the loops that you're going to attach it into. Attach your keychain. Right through a loop there. Attach your keychain, and that's that completed. So I'd love to see your work. Um, my social media links are in the description box you can post photographs on my youtube page group or instagram you can tag me in it or send me a message i love to see your work 
Let me know what you think of this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, pop them down into the comments section. And that's everything really. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.